Okay, this is looking really good. Um, I think it's got an interesting style to it. You've definitely got some color variation going on on the skin. And I like the 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 very kind of hand painted look to the textures. Like there's a feeling like there's brush strokes to it, which I think is very nice. Um, if you're uh, running into issues, like you've got um, why can't I see the UV map? Yeah, so you've got a seam here and it's sort of obvious. So you can actually potentially fix that right here in Maya. If I go, um, let me just isolate this surface. Um, right mouse click, paint, 3D paint, and then click assign edit textures. And then I'll ha set it to uh, clone. And uh, first I have to set clone source, which maybe I'll do I don't know, here for example, click there, and then I can hold down B and left mouse drag to adjust that, and then I can just kind of just click, I'm just kind of painting over that seam, um, and then again down here, set clone source, click here, and then again click, 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 click. Um, let me do it again here or something. Just kind of helping clean up that seam and maybe maybe you want to go further with this. I don't know. Just to kind of make those seams less obvious, you know, and again here. Uh perhaps you know, I could even just grab something from here, say, and then just soften that up. You know, so there's not a real obvious seam. Maybe down here, set clone source here. Maybe make this a bit bigger, and then just clicking along that edge. Maybe go the other direction here. Mm, that's not so good, those last couple ones. Sometimes you have to undo more times than you would normally think. Let's try grabbing from here. having a little trouble painting over this seam. Well, that's not too bad. Anyway, you can start to get rid of the seams that way. Um, but yeah, I really like the paint job you've done on that. Um, oh, sorry, and then just make sure um, in here that you, after you paint, that you do save textures. And that will actually overwrite this JPEG. Um, so you might want to save out a separate version of the JPEG in case you're worried about screwing it up. But maybe you have a separate Photoshop file anyways of the original. Um, yeah, I actually really like the look to the textures. Again, that hand-painted feel. But again, if you want to get rid of seams like that, just do the 3D paint thing. Um, these should be separated. Mesh separate. Um, you shouldn't have those combined. Okay. But yeah, um, it's great. It's really good. I, I love that it's all hand painted. Nice work.